right, so welcome to today's design review. And um, I have three designs from the group members. So on my first design here that says Kiddies Quest 4, before I critique this design, I need you guys to know this, that we are visual communicators. And part of how we do this is by using still image to tell story. If you are coming up with a design, always put yourself in the shoe of the audience. Think of what easily catch your attention. The brief from the client or the content used on the project should build the face, like to build the look of the design. You know, the first thing I said is put yourself in the shoe of the audience. The brief now will now be the, what you're going to now use to build the image of, of the project. Okay, now the reason why I'm saying this is because of this first design that I received from one of the group members that says Kiddies Quest. Now we're talking about kiddies here, we're talking about kids design. If I happen to be the one to work on this project, what you know I normally do whenever I'm working on design projects is this. It's similar to what I said at the beginning. So what I do first is I take myself, I'm gonna take myself back to when I was younger, like when I was still around the age of um, let's say 15 or let's say 10, or let's just say the age range of the target audience for this project, okay? And I'll picture it, okay, what are those things that normally draw my attention? Like when I see them on, most especially parks, like uh, toys park, okay, what are the type of toys park that normally draw my attention? That when I see it, I will want to have, you know, that toy. Color is one of the things that normally draw its attention, like young people's attention. And then the other thing is the way they play with type on the box. So those th those things are what you are now going to use to come up with project like this. You, I'm not now saying that you should now copy the entire design. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is just let that design activate the um, concepts that will connect with the target orders that you are working for. No matter how fine, no matter how you know beautiful the design is, if it's not targeting or if it's not pointing at the target audience trust me the design will be rejected so the reason why i think this did not work well is because first is the way the designer played with the title and most time when you're working on designs for kids uh, i'm going to advise you to stop this fonts with sharp edges like this are not good for kids design you know fonts with all this type of sharp edges are not good except if you are trying to design uh, a Halloween poster. That's when you do this. But if you're talking about game uh, for kids, I don't think you are supposed to go to you know too far on using fonts with sharp edges. It's not always uh, nice. And then another thing again that you know I believe you're supposed to do when it comes to designing kids' um, poster is playing with the letters, like the scale of the letters. Don't make the size of the letters uniform. Young people always like it when they see something playful on um, designs talking to them. All right, so that the part of the color, um, colors, you know, the 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 type of color you use here did not really go well with people of this age. All right, um, I had I noticed you have this solid background here, and then this is not really, you know, it didn't, it's not really connecting well. All right, so what I would advise you to do. Is even as I'm talking to you now, if you go back and check out most of the toys, the, pa the package of um, toys that catches your attention when you were young, you realize that they play with the type on the package and then they also play with color. And then the color of that package is bright, it's not dark like what you did here. So these are simple things, you know, that if you don't do them right, it won't really capture the attention of the um, target people that you are trying to draw to look at the artwork and then another thing is if the design is talking about game i expect to see something that shows you know playful elements and they just make them you know play around the title and just create that playful you know um scene on the project and then um i'm going to stop here on this okay and i'll go straight to the second design Okay, so on this second design, I notice we have the use of elements that are not really helping the design. All right, now, like what I always say to you guys that the goal is not for you to load the design to the point where, you know, you want people to start looking at you like you did something. No. When you always have this 
in mind that okay you you want people to not or you want the client not to think to not to think you didn't do too much we always end up loading the design with elements that are not um, supposed to be on the design so this design i noticed that we have um this image here it's not helping the focus is this all right this is the focus all right and we now have in fact this guy here is covering part of the book and it's not good and also i don't i'm wondering why we have all these uh all these balloons here yeah i know we have the balloon on the cover but um yeah it's not that bad although it's not bad if we have the balloon because we have it on the cover so it should just be like a repetition of what we have on the cover but it would have been nice if we have the same type of balloon that we have on the cover on the background because the one you use on the background is even is is even more high contrast than the one on the book so the one on the background is taking more attention than the one on the book so i would advise you don't um you know do this all right this is not good okay and then um space your information allow space between them and um then um your layout here is not okay so uh, if i were you what i'll just do is this should align everything here should align with this here like so all right um so i think um and then the last the last part is this the shadow behind the book here is not balanced because i noticed that we have shadow here and then we also have shadow on this side of um the book so this is looking more like the book is on the surface and also is close to a wall. And uh, the whole idea of you using this background here is to create depth. I know most of us don't know this. Whenever we use background, that we use a landscape background on our projects. What we are trying to depict is depth. Um, there's something called perspective in the uh, principle of design. So when we place uh, an element, in front of a, of a background or on a background with um, landscape what we're trying to say is that that element is close to us and that background shows the depth like the uh that it shows distance all right and the whole idea of doing that is so as to make attention be on the subject which is the um element that we place on the background all right so when you now have this type of shadow behind this um background here it looks more like this background is placed is pasted on a wall and then we now have this book close to the wall and then it's also on the surface so please these are simple things that always affect in fact these are things that always make you know people know if we are truly good at what we are doing or not okay so then i'll go straight to uh my last design for today all right so um like i said in the beginning that you all you are supposed to always have your audience in mind whenever you're working on um design um project so if this design is talking about evening of worship it means um you're supposed to create something that shows excitement something that shows shouting because most time when we're in the um, worship atmosphere you know we always have this feel of you know music playing and then people you know moving and the lights and else and so on okay so we're supposed to see that here i am going to quickly do the redesigned version of this so as to explain uh what i'm trying to say so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new so i'm going to put the exercise file link to the elements that i use on um, this design all right so you guys can just go back and practice um how to you know achieve the same design okay so i'm going to width 900 and height is going to be 900 resolution is going to be 100 and i'm going to call this worship all right so like i always say because this is going to be on social media my color mode needs to be on rgb so i'm going to click on the create um button I'm going to make my background black so i'm going to use control backspace to do that and I'm going to type my title, which is, um, so I'll make a copy of this. And this needs to be, and I'm going to push this down, right? 
then I'll copy the date and time. First off, I'm going to change the color of my text to white. And I'm going to uh, make this short. All right, like I said, before we get to this, I said the goal is not for you to add, but to subtract. So the way my December is here is not helping my layout. So I'm going to reduce it and I'll make this um, 00 p.m. I'll add zero to this. All right. This. After the title, the next thing I want people to see is the date and time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and use okay so that's this here so i'll use ocr extended i know some of you have this font on your pc and um you've never touched it before okay so i believe this will help you start using the font okay so i'm going to position this here all right and going to make this go this way right i think i need to add zero behind this okay and i'll close the tracking and i'm gonna close the lead i'm gonna open the leading okay and i'm gonna activate the my ruler and i'm gonna position this here because i always make sure that your element is anchored to something in your design project these are you know things that always help our uh, design project looks successful okay so always make sure you anchor your element to something okay so i'm going to uh, move this to this side and zoom in and this need to be here all right so what i'm trying to achieve here is the space here space is very important when it comes to design all right you need to make sure you allow space your contents needs to break okay so i'm going to copy the address now this needs to go up a bit because i need to have space here all right so i'm going to position this here and i make a copy of this i'll type the day all right so most time yeah it's not really composing you put the day but the reason why i always like to see the day there is so as to let to so as to help my viewers quickly know where the date and time is because when they see the name you know it, it makes them know, okay this is where the date is and most of the time when i do this i do this when i when i did not complete the month all right that's when i always do this so because i have december as dec it's always good to uh put the day okay so i'm trying to achieve the continuation of the hour here is what i'm looking at here so then i'm going to select the date and the address and activate the free transform so this needs to be here and zoom in put this here like so okay it's here like so all right so i think we are good on this so i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to place that here like so so i'm gonna turn off the tracking so yeah so this needs to I'll activate my guide again with Control h and i'll position this here zoom in and make this camera right here like so it's here like so so zero zoom out so now if i hit ctrl h this is what we have so i'm going to add i'm going to drag the picture of um, the ministers so varying the size of your image will help the beauty of your design so i'm going to hit the enter key now and this should be behind this and this should go down on this here now and um, to make my layer panel neat because when your layer panel is too busy to make you get out of work most especially if you're using photoshop and that's one of the reasons why most people always run away from Photoshop. So I'm going to move everything here. I mean, the pictures, I'm going to put them in a group. And I'll follow these ministers. 
and um, for the dates and address i'll put them also in a group and i'll call this ad and for the title i'll put that also in a group so I'll call this title so then it's time for me to add the names of the ministers all right so i'm going to start with the uh, be praised guy so i'll copy this this should be here uh, this is good all right so i am going to create more space between the ministry and the name of the minister so i'm going to use color to achieve that and i'll reduce the value of this so as to create space between them so i'll stop here on this and um so in order to create what i call unity because unity is very very important in graphic design so i'm going to create something that will make people know that okay whenever they see this icon next to um any information on this on this on the design they know that person is a minister so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a shape put that here and i'll change the color of my shape to red of the color and I'll use my pen to here to take out one of the points move this here stuff make a copy of this and this should be and just move this here make a copy again so then I'm going to add my background image so I'll drag that and drop I'll change this to black and white so and now you see i'm beginning to see the information on my design and i'll select the background layers and i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit all right because the information is much more important than the background okay so i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit like so all right and uh, another thing i'm going to do again is i'm going to create a new layer and i'll call this layer noise Right, so I'm gonna call this noise. So I'll change the mode to um, soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color percent gray. And I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'll go to filter noise and I'll add click on add noise and I'm gonna select the OK button. Now the reason why I always do this is to create what I call texture of my background. Now that texture is gonna help. It's gonna give this the project this this calm and cool feel. All right. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of my soft light like so. And um, so on the tie to layer, I'm going to use Ctrl H to hide my um, guide. I'm going to add a layer mask. Select the brush too. And I'm going to select this brush here. And I'll turn on transfer option. Close the spacing. Reduce my brush size. Now, I always like to make my title abstract. Making your title abstract is another way of making your project look interesting. All right. So I'm going to just gently, you know, um, I'm going to switch. Yeah, I'm going to switch my foreground to black and I'm going to gently apply some effect to the title um, like so. All right. So as to just, you know, create that interesting feel. Now, you need to be careful when you're doing this. Making it too much on it is going to make the project um it's going to spoil the loop of the project okay i'm going to stop here on this and um if you have not subscribed guys please subscribe to my channel so if you have any comment on this design please drop it in the comment section on this video and i'll see you again in the next one peace